What's going on guys? This is Ben here. So in today's video, we are going to be trying to get as many Mega Knights as possible. And currently, as you guys know, the 2v2 Mega Knight challenge is going on. And hopefully you are faring better than some of my clan mates here, like uh, like Joshua here. But our clan chest is doing awesome. It's, I got 87 crowns already. That's better than a lot of, like, basically what I did the last few weeks. But look at my Benton one level one gem account we're probably gonna scumbag this this week i'm sorry clan uh but other than that guys look at my uh, shop here i have cards i can buy you know i am maxed on gold and basically throwing away gold whenever i open up chest but we only need nine more mega knights and then if i buy these three we'd need only six more i'm hyped for it so and then also we got the pekka and the, the it's like the mega offer right here the mega minion the pekka and the mega knight like that's a beastly shop right there the Mega Knight Pekka is a really good, like, a good, I don't know, they kind of counter each other, but they can be used well as well, or they work well together as well. So here we go, we're buying these Mega Knights. Only need six more of them. Uh, sold out, I wish I could buy more. Hopefully I get them the offer, but now I'm not maxed on cold anymore. So hopefully we get that max soon. Definitely leave a like if you guys are excited and want to see that max gameplay and want to see some gems freeze to finish off getting that thing maxed out because the Mega Knight is a beast. And I'm just going to give you guys a tip here. I know you guys want to see some gameplays, but I'm actually currently, I won it on this account already, 9 and, uh, Diamond, 9 and 2, and on my other account, I'm like 7 and 0 right now, so we're going to try and win it on that, so, but the Mega Knight Challenge, I'm going to give you some tips here, so, if you look at this, every time that basically I didn't get Mega Knights, so you can see when I lost here, double Mega Knights, we didn't even have a chance to draft the Mega Knights, so if you, it, I'm just gonna say this guys pick the Mega Knight the only time you do not want to pick the Mega Knight is basically if you If you have a P.E.K.K.A. if it's P.E.K.K.A. Mega Knight take the P.E.K.K.A. because the P.E.K.K.A. counters the Mega Knight amazingly um, And say like your teammate already has like a the Mega Knight and it's a golem It's a golem Mega Knight choice I'd say probably I would take the Golem if you already have one Mega Knight. Try and get at least one Mega Knight on your team, and then the P.E.K.K.A. is a counter, or a solid counter to it, so take the P.E.K.K.A. in most most instances. So I'm just showing you guys a quick replay here. We'll go at twice the speed, but this was my nine win match, and we'll open up our first legendary chest, but uh, that's basically the tip, guys. Take the Mega Knight when you see it, and if you have Mega Knights, you will win, and more often than not, a lot of my losses were when we didn't even get the option to pick the Mega Knight. It sucks when, like, you're, it's left down to your opponents who get both of the Mega Knight offers, or not offers, but options to pick the Mega Knight in their draft. And I would say 95% of the time, if people are smart, they're going to take the Mega Knights. So if you get a Mega Knight, like, handed to you from a draft from someone else on the other team, thank them. Because that's the key to winning this challenge, guys, is getting the Mega Knight on your side. Because he just clogs the lane so well. He's just tanky. He's a beast. If you get double Mega Knights on your team, more often than not, unless you just get extremely hard counter with, like, say you don't have air stuff and they have, like, Lava Hound, Balloon, and everything, or maybe your teammates... Garbage. <laughs> and yet, as long as you, like, play well, you should win if you have double Mega Knights. Um, yes, there's little nuances where you, you might lose, but more often than not, guys, double Mega Knights come in too clutch. They're, they're too good. And... You can see our expo coming in there we're going for the three crown and the like a lot of times it'll be like mega knight giant skeleton offer like option as well give them the giant skeleton the giant skeleton sucks compared to the mega knight i've had it so many times where my teammates draft the giant skeleton while they have the mega knight as well in that same like it's like either the giant skeleton or mega knight and they pick the giant skeleton i'm just like oh my god no i wish you could give input to your teammate on what they want to pick so like i said though it really really does suck when you don't have an option to even pick a Mega Knight and it's left up to your opponents because then you guys know it's going to be rough because I'd say 80 or I'd say 90% of my tips. We got the Sparky. We needed the Mega Knight there, man. So now we still need six more. I was hoping to get it out of the legendary chest there and hopefully these clan chests. We'll see the video on there soon. I think uh, Popeye is going, <laughs> look at that dude, 226. He's going hard. But at least we got the night or the nine win challenge here. We'll go over the other one, and sadly, no legendary. So now, this is where it's gonna get intense. And I'm telling you, hopefully, guys, if I do not get the Mega Knight on this draft, I'm gonna be sad. You're, you're, like, I, I'm not even joking you. If it's left up to your opponents to pick the Mega Knights, as long as you have one Mega Knight on your team, you should be fine. If your teammate knows how to play the Mega Knight a little bit. Uh, but if we look at like the things here, Mega Knights. And the P.E.K.K.A. win. Mega Knights win. They even had the P.E.K.K.A. and we countered that because we were too strong. 
Pekka Mega Knight win versus the Mega Knight Golem. Meg or Pekka uh, Pekka Pekka Lava Hound, but they had double both of the Mega Knights, but the Pekka was too good of a counter, and we outplayed them a little bit, so we won that one. Uh, one Mega Knight on each team. Better players win that one. No, I'm just kidding. So you can see, it's it's very, it's it, the stats don't lie. The statistics, I wouldn't say the statistics, but the, the results don't lie. If you have Mega Knights on your team, more often than not, you're gonna win. So I'm telling you guys, that should be your main priority is picking the, the Mega Knights. Um, it's been kind of weird about the choices that we get. I don't see a lot of like tornadoes, another thing. Um, damage spells aren't as pr a huge priority and the Dark Coblins come in clutch, dude. It's crazy. And since my teammate already has picked the princess, um, sadly, we don't, okay, I hopefully I get a Mega Knight choice here, otherwise I'm going to be extremely mad. Because our, our, basically our comp right now is garbage. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm telling you right now. If we don't get like a P.E.K.K.A. or a Mega Knight from the enemy team, we're, we've already lost this one. I'm going to take the log for his princess and the Dark Goblin. Like, th I hate drafts like this. It should not be, it should not be this way. It should basically be like... Each opponent or each team gets to pick that one of the Mega Knights, um, and then if they give it away, it's their fault. So this is—I'm telling you guys—I don't want to jinx myself here, but it's going to be extremely difficult just from all of the matches and past experiences of matches that I faced in this challenge. So hopefully we can do all right. They have a Golem, so it's going to be Golem, and yes, yeah, so you can see the Giant Skeleton. It was the Mega Knight Giant Skeleton choice. It's going to be Golem double. Double Mega Knight. There's gonna be absolutely nothing we can do, I don't think. Unless my teammate... Oh, he got the Mega Knight. They drafted him the Mega Knight. <laughs> okay, things are looking up. If we he didn't, if he didn't get the Mega Knight, I think we'd have been fine. See how they did the go double Golem push? I'm trying to predict... I think one of them should have actually kept that Mega Knight and gave us the Golem, and it would have worked way better. Uh, sadly, my teammates did not save the Mega Knight for the... I've said Mega Knight probably 500 times this video already, guys. Uh, did not save it for the Three Musketeers, so... Whoa, this might be a little trip like very very tricky for us. We're probably gonna lose a tower on the right I'm gonna log this over here. Thank God the Prince took care though of that stuff over there and We're struggling early on so we did get one Mega Knight at least and the double golems is Pretty tricky. He's got a rocket. So he's gonna save those rockets for the three musketeers. I hope <laughs> I hope don't know if that's gonna be the case but we got decent damage. I'm still really, really scared of the three musketeers getting dropped right now. Um, they're on the prince over here. We are at a huge disadvantage because of like how much early, how early we lost our tower. It's just basically you gotta see where these three musketeers get dropped. Uh, we didn't take a whole lot of damage there, so that's nice. I'm gonna throw on the barbarian hut once again. I'll log the the Dark Goblin. We have a big push on the on the right hand or the left hand side. Sorry, probably just shred that golem. So this is looking up for us. Uh, we are getting some minor tower chip damage in there. I'm just throwing down these giant skeletons. I'm telling you guys, I think they made a little bit of a mistake giving us one Mega Knight. If they would have took both of them, it probably would have been incredibly, it would have been a lot harder for us to deal with all of this. Cause we're doing all right so far. Still really really scared of the three musketeers. Um, I'm just gonna log that princess. A prince got to the tower. What is this? Sadly, he used the rocket right now. I would, I don't agree with that because now we're probably gonna three musketeer unless he has the Mega Knight in rotation, which he does. Okay, but he's not saving it for the three musketeers. That's what I'm kind of sad about because that's really what we need. They have a lot of stuff coming down this lane now. Oh my goodness. We're just trying to clog that light left side, dude. Dropping everything. They haven't thrown on the three musketeers, which I'm really surprised about because that's the one card that they're able to like kill us on, or would be able to kill us with. Oh my goodness! Did we just clutch this up? That, I don't even know, man. How we won that? I, I'm telling you, they made a huge mistake giving us the Mega Knight and taking double golems. Don't do double golems. If you already have a golem, like you, you want to maybe secure one golem, but make sure you at least have one Mega Knight. That was the big difference right there, because that draft, oh my goodness. So you can see the matchup there. The MVP was definitely that Mega Knight. And I was scared that he rocketed and wasn't saving his Mega Knight for the Three Musketeers, but it worked out anyways. So I was a little, I was a little skeptical at first, 
Not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> but we pulled through there. And I'm gonna mention this right now. Um, you guys know, I, I know a lot of you love like the mini edits that I do. I don't know if this video is gonna be full of a lot of mini, mini edits or even tomorrow's video because I'm gonna be busy over the next few days. And uh, until it takes like a lot longer to like, just for to edit the video, it takes like hour and a half, two hours. And that doesn't include like making the thumbnail and all the other stuff and recording it and playing the matches get lined up for the video. So uh, I might hold off from the mini edits this weekend. We'll see and then be back strong with it on Monday. I'm sorry guys, it's just due to time constraints because otherwise it would be like, I wouldn't have a video for you guys to watch. Uh, that's a tough choice. He took the Mega Knight. See? Mega Knight Giant Skeleton and he took it. Thank you. Thank you, Adu Marshmallow. We'll take the golem though. Hopefully we get another choice for the Mega Knight. Please. Please, Mega Knight. Ah. Oh, oh, that sucks. I would have liked for us to get both options with the Mega Knight because then I would have been like, yo, you guys, it's game over. We won. GG. But they have a Mega Knight probably. Maybe a P.E.K.K.A. thrown in there. They could even have a golem as well. So this is going to be, I can't, I, I, I'm not going to, I don't know. I don't know on this one, guys. This one's a toss-up right now just from the draft. So I don't feel as though I lost, uh, we have lost yet on this draft. But Lava Hound can be a little bit tricky to deal with. Thank God we have the Dark Goblin. Honestly, guys, Dark Goblin is so good this challenge. I don't know for whatever reason. It's just such a nuisance card to deal with. And the log and the arrows aren't really getting, like, dished out as, as much, it seems like. So, all right, we're going to get a value rocket here on that Executioner. And the baby dragon, hopefully. I missed the baby dragon a little bit. I guess that's fine. But I'm going to throw on the minion horde. And hopefully that takes care of it. He did fireball, which sucks a little bit. But we'll goblin barrel. Um, see if they have arrows or log or anything. No, so our goblin's going to get some damage in there. They have fire spirits, but... I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. But we have this huge, massive push coming. Oh my goodness. Double Mega Knights, Giant Skeleton, and uh, he's gonna have to rock it. Oh my goodness. I don't know how we weathered, how, how we basically got through that. I have no idea. They were cocky though. They're like, good game. And you see how we just turned that around? Oh my goodness. <laughs> like I said, no idea how that happened. Sadly, the Executioner is gonna take care of the Minion Horde. Ooh, that really sucks. Oh, Clutch Freeze. Nice. Good, call. Good, good play, teammate. I'll give you that one. Um, We're going to lose this tower, though. He threw down the giant because he didn't really have anything else, I don't think. Uh, I'm just going to throw it on the rocket. Try and take care of most stuff in there. I, I couldn't even see what was in that lane, dude. Like, <laughs> that was just a blind rocket, and it somehow paid off. Giant Skeleton's getting a little bit annoying. Um, they did take our tower, which is fine. The Royal GG up front. Um, Executioner, I have to... He, I wish I wish I had my rocket or I could tell him to rocket the Executioner, because otherwise I can't do much. But once he's gone, we're golden. The Mega Knight's coming in here. I'm gonna have to... I don't know what he's doing. What? What is my teammate doing? He hasn't dropped in so long! Dude, I, what the heck? Did his phone die? Did do Marshmallow? On a 9 win match? That is so sad. Because like, he could have distracted all of that with his giant Mega Knight whatever. If he would have been dropping, I'm pretty confident we would have won that. Because he gave up at a pivotal time when we could have like, countered their push on the right. What the heck? Edu Marshmallow, I hate you. <laughs> Well, come on, dude. That's unfair. We had a good draft and everything. I'm pretty sure we probably would have won that, guys, to be honest. Because he wasn't dropping for a while. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, this is a tough choice. I'll take the Giants. Like, I don't know if we're going to get it twice in a row where we get a choice with the Mega Knight. Because our teammate hasn't gotten the choice yet. You got to... Oh, it's a... Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Give me the Mega Knight choice, please. This one, guys, I'm not feeling good about. If they have double Mega Knights, there's no way. Like, if they take both of them, unless we get, like, a P.E.K.K.A. I don't know. I don't know on this one, man. He's got Baby Dragon. Oh, I'm not feeling I'm not feeling this one, guys. Goblin Barrel right off the start. Okay. Sadly, we have no log for those princesses. He's gonna, he's gonna be able to zap one of them. But... 
I'm trying to see what he has further down the line. Oh, it's, he's not looking good. It doesn't look like he has any big tank stuff. Uh-oh, guys. Uh-oh, I'm not looking forward to this match. <laughs> they have, a, they have the, ju the, ju the golem as well, so they have double Mega Knight golem battle deck. This is not going to be fun to deal with. I'm telling you straight up, we know they have double golems. We have somehow taken their tower on the right hand side. I don't know why they haven't thrown on the Mega Knight yet. Not really sure what they're waiting for. I'm telling you guys, don't be afraid to throw on the Mega Knight to counter pushes. That's, a, that's another pro tip. It is so good at taking like lane stuff, like for when people just stuff the lane with them. He's such a good counter for stopping it. Oh god, he's gonna get value on those archers. Or not. Alright, so there's the double Mega Knight push. I, I don't agree with, that's probably gonna be guards down, but I don't agree with them throwing it back to back like that because it left us a good window to actually counter it. And they're just leaving my giant go. So, all right. These guys, I don't think are playing up to, basically I don't think they're, I just don't think they're doing it very well. Or they're making smart choices at this moment, I guess is the best call, is the best way to say it. Because we got their tower and we're doing very well early on here. Rocket coming out, it's not gonna hit my bowler, I don't think. He's going for the tower. We're probably gonna get Mega Knighted. That should be a new term because right now would be a perfect time to throw it down because you get so much value on the bowlers, getting damage on them, on the ice wizard, and they're just not they're just not utilizing him the best, I don't think. Like that's what he shines at in this challenge, and that's why he's so good. Because he just takes care of everything in the lane. If it's like a lane stuff match, pretty much. Uh, they are gonna probably get this tower though, but our 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 guys, our team is relentless, man. He's going in. With that miner. There's the first Mega Knight in the lane drop. Um, there's both of them at the same exact time. See, they're both, not, but they're very reluctant to drop their Mega Knights, which you don't want to be. They're such good counters, like I keep saying over and over again. So I'm trying to give you guys tips on it to hopefully get you up in here. And I'm surprised with how they handle their Mega Knights, to be honest, that they're up this high in, in trophies. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, they're not trophies in the challenge. But we are almost taking this tower. He does have that lightning if he really, really wants to. They'll probably get one tower, no lie, but I'm gonna giant this just to like basically distract. Um, and we got the tower. Guys, this was looking grim. They should have won this match. I'm not even kidding you. There's no way we should have won that one. They just did not utilize those Mega Knights, and you have to. Say there's a big push in the lane, throw it down. It takes care of it. And they're, they're tanky as well, so we got lucky. We should have won the game before. But hey, we got two nine wins in the challenge, cannot complain. Hopefully we at least get a Mega Knight out of this chest. The double legendary opening for you guys. In there, that was really, really creepy. Um, but my game software just did like the static -y stuff that happens from time to time. I don't know if I maybe bumped the cord, but hopefully this recording did not get wasted and is corrupt, but I'm scared to shut off my recording stuff now. <laughs> But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There were my tips for the Mega Knight. It's use the Mega Knight, draft the Mega Knight, and you'll be good. Try and get as many Mega Knights on your team as possible. Unless it's like P.E.K.K.A. Mega Knight. Take the P.E.K.K.A. Because the P.E.K.K.A. will counter the Mega Knight hard. And then drop them in the middle of the lane. Do not be afraid to drop your Mega Knight. Um, save them for three Musketeers if you need or whatever. He is such a good card. Throw them down in the lane when there's a lot of stuff going on. Because it, it happens a lot in 2v2 Double Elixir. Lanes are just getting pushed back and forth and stuffed, and you have the advantage if you have that Mega Knight. So, they didn't use it properly that last match. That's why that's why we somehow won without a Mega Knight. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you do subscribe for more Clash Royale videos, and I'll see you guys later.